uh, we have a grandfather, grandmother, aunt, uncle. That's the wisest person we've ever met. And we get used to approaching them and saying, hey, Grandpa, uh, I've got this opportunity. I've got to make a decision. What should I do here? Have you ever been in that position? <laughs> and often, the, really, the wisest people we know pass away and leave us without a wise person to ask. In that case, it isn't a spiritual issue. It's not like uh, clairvoyance or talking with the dead. To imagine talking with that person still, to say, I wonder what Grandpa would say about that. I wonder what Grandpa Beale would say if I went to him and said, Grandpa Beale, what would you think if I did this? What would your advice to me be on this? Grandpa Donaldson, if you had to make this decision, what would you, what would you do? And to imagine the wisest people you've ever met who aren't with you anymore, but just to imagine what they would have to say on this subject. And what you're going to find is that by asking yourself that question, conversations you've had with that person are going to come back to you. Just the instinctive, uh, tucked away memory of conversations you've had that won't otherwise occur to you unless you ask that question and sort of have an imaginary conversation with them come back to you and help you make a wise decision. Even though you may never have had a conversation with them on that subject, you can imagine what they would say. Let me show you. You may never have had a conversation with your grandfather about what kind of car to drive. But let's say, imaginarily, you drive into their house, mother's side, father's side, grandparent, with a brand new Lamborghini. I mean, you, you tool in there with the, the pipes blowing and, and your hand on a wheel, you know, and gear shifting down and you buzz in there and you drive up to the driveway. Can you imagine what each of them, how they'd each respond? One would say, oh, beautiful set of wheels. The other one would say, how why did you spend, why did you waste so much money on something like that? You know, I say, you can imagine what some people, how they'd respond. And so often just imagining what wise people would say, how they would say it, the emotion they'd say it with, gives us perspective on decisions we need to and are about to make.